When you lose your phone, having an IMEI number can be of a huge help. Anti-theft applications become useless once your device is flashed. But using the IMEI number, various law enforcement agencies can blacklist your device on all the cellular service networks and can even track your phone if used by any other person. You can find the IMEI number using the phone or the box of the device it comes in. But if you don't have access to any of those, this video will show you how you can find the IMEI number of your lost Android or an iPhone. This is Ashish from Guiding Tech welcoming you back to How To Mondays and now that we are ready, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll have a check on how you can find the IMEI number of your Android device and to do that, you'll have to open up the browser. And the browser can be of your choice, now I always prefer Chrome and I'll continue with it. And you'll have to open up a website uh, that says Google Dashboard. Now the website it says is google.com forward slash settings forward slash dashboard. And uh, I'll provide you the link to this particular website in the description of this video. Now I'll just click on it and it will ask me to type in my username and you'll have to use the username that you use on your Android phone to configure all the settings. So I'll just uh, type in my username and hit the password and then I'll visit my Google dashboard page. Now this particular page has a lot of information uh, regarding almost everything that is related to your Google account. Now it has your Gmail information, your location history, your maps, the news, the payment information as well. So anything and everything related to your Google account can be found on this particular page. Now here under the Android settings, you'll uh, you'll see the number of devices that you have used on this account. I mean, uh, it makes a list of all the devices that you have used. And once you click on it, it will expand in this manner. Now here, as you can see, it will give me the name of the device. That is my latest device along with the information that is the IMEI number, the manufacturer. And uh, right now it says no carrier because I'm not using it. And it will also give me the last activity that has been that it has been used in. Now, one thing to note here on this particular page is that you'll get an option that says manage active devices. Now, if your device is switched on and it's connected to a 3G or a Wi-Fi network, it can be helpful to track it down. Now, you just need to tap on manage active devices and then uh, it will give you the option that says ring, lock and erase. Now, as my device is not turned on right now, it's not able to con uh, contact it. But then if it is able to contact, I mean, if it is able to reach it through a Wi-Fi or a 3G network, then you can actually ring the device and even lock it remotely and then uh, see it on a map that will help you to locate it. So this is how you can find the IMEI number on your Android device and even locate your phone. Let's now move on to the iOS site and see how the same trick works there. Now, the only limitation for an iOS user is that the trick only works if you have created a backup of your iPhone using iTunes. Now, if you have ever created a local backup of your iPhone, uh, just press the Alt key on your keyboard and then you'll find this particular menu bar that says File, Edit, View, Control. Now, here click on Edit and then click on Preferences. Now, once you click on Preferences, it will open up uh, in the general tab and I mean uh, you'll see a lot of other tabs like the playback sharing store parental devices and advanced here click on the tab that says devices and in here you'll see under device backups like all the iPhones that have been backed up to this particular system using the iTunes now once you hover your mouse on any of this particular backup it will give you the IMEI number along with the serial number of the device now as both the backups are of the same phone, you can, uh, as you'll see, both the IMEI numbers and serial numbers are same. Now to locate your device on a map using the LTE or the Wi-Fi network, you'll have to open up iClouds and log in with your iClouds credential. And if Find My Phone is turned on on your iPhone, you just need to click on it and then it will locate your device. Now it will uh, take some time to locate your device on the map now, once your device is located on the map, you can actually click on the I option that you see near it and then select the option to play a sound or keep it in lost mode or even erase your iPhone. So friends, that was how you can find the IMEI number of your lost or stolen Android and iPhone and even track it on a map using the Find My Phone services. 
If you have any doubts, please do ask me in the comment section. And don't forget to tune in next Monday where we share some amazing how-to tips with you once more. Now, this was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next upcoming videos. Till then, take care and have a wonderful day.